Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to week three in our seven-week championship series, the Dungeons & Drogons PvP Tournament. Before we move into this matchup, allow me to quickly announce that betting is now open for next week's matchup, Autumn vs. Wreckage. Place your bets by leaving a comment on any of these three videos. Tonight, we're going to see a battle of spellcasters, or hybrid spellcasters, as we'll see Zook, the druid, face off against Wrecked Hillcrusher. Once again, this is a best of three series, so the first player to win two matches shall be the victor and move on to the semi-finals. Tokens have been placed on the battlefield. In the northwestern corner, we have freshly resurrected from the grave purely for this match, after which he'll be promptly killed and sent back to his rightful resting place. Weighing in at a projected 27.5 pounds, the lean, the mean, the miniature fumbling machine, Zook the Druid. Ooh, yeah. I love you! <laughs> and in the southeastern corner, a new contender to the Drogon Arena. He's ready to drop the Hammer of Justice. He is the Preacher Man, wrecked the Cleric Hillcrusher. Uh, I, I, I would just like to say, I have a doctor's note. I wrote my own doctor's note. Combatants, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> yep. Then let's get ready to fumble. Roll initiative. Rekt rolls a 17. Zook rolls an 18. My best roll of the night. And my only roll of the night. That's going to be good. Alright, round one, Zook starts off with the faster reflexes, as is expected of a wily little gnome versus a clunky dwarf. Alright, Zook is going to shift into his link swap. Is this a closed door? That is a closed door. <laughs> okay, I open it. No, wait, I can't. Damn it. <laughs> I'll shift out of my link swap. <laughs> Wow, I just need to close the doors. Okay, uh, is opening a door a minor or a standard or a free or action or what kind of action is it? You can only use wild shape once per round. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, then I stay in my links for it and I start pawing at the door. And that's it. Actually, it is a, a hand, it is not a knob, it is a handle such that you can just uh, with your, you, you don't need an opposable thumb to open the door. Sweet, I, I do it. Zook the Lynx opens the door. And I take my final step, and that's it. What kind of action is it to Wild Shape? Wild Shape is a minor. So it was a minor and a move. And then a minor to open the door. And you're done. Wrecked. Alright. Wrecked emits a loud fart. That's the first thing he does. Um, then he casts Bless on himself, and so he gains a plus one power bonus to attack rolls until the end of the encounter. Ooh, the man who cannot attack people when they're bloodied gets a plus one to attack. And then I clonk around, and I open the door. So Zook in his Lynx form, wrecked, buffed, round two, Zook. Zook is going to start moving towards the center of the room. Alright, and I'm gonna end my move over there. Wrecked. I opens the door. Excellent. And that's... Uh, opening a door, is it a minor or standard? Minor. Okay then. Wrecked clanks around in his armor. And that's pretty much it. Do I hear the clanks of his armor and I can tell where he is? Zook hears Wrecked clanking northward. And seems to still be on the eastern side of the room. Round three, Zook. Yeah, move some more. And Zook and Wrecked come into view of each other. They are standing 11 square, 10 squares away from each other. Zook decides to hide behind the pillar. Zook takes cover behind a pillar such that Wrecked cannot target him. Wrecked. Hmm, interesting. Wrecked releases a fart. He opens the door. He took a step, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are move, this is a minor. And then he moves. Interesting. Round four, Zook. 
Zuko step out to see where wrecked moves. And he's gone. Wrecked. Uh, wrecked moves and opens the door. As so we enter round five, so far we've seen our combatants circling the battlefield, sizing each other up, and positioning themselves tactically. No one has yet shed first blood. Zook, round five. Is this door open? Yes, it is. Zook enters the room. Wrecked. Wrecked moves. That's difficult terrain right there. Uh, where? Anything that has that little triangle. Uh, okay. Round six, Zook. Zook will shift out of his links. And our two combatants can now once again see each other as they've entered the open area in the center of this map on round six. Yay! And I'll use my flame seed against them. 17 versus reflex, hit for 5 damage. And scores adjacent to the target become fiery zone. And if he enters it, he takes damage equal to my wisdom modifier, which is 3. So Zook burns wrecked for 5 damage. Dang, Namit. Zook draws first blood round six, only a couple rounds away from the battlefield, beginning to contract. Wrecked. Um, okay. Wrecked walks through the fire, taking how much damage? Three? Three? So Three. I, that's going to be a total of eight damage that round? Correct. Wrecked down to 30 hit points out of 38. Yes. Um, yeah. And uh, Wrecked casts Sacred Flame on Zook, and he rolls 14, and it deals 7 points of radiant damage. And if it hits, then Wrecked will gain temporary hit points equal to 3. So Zook burned Wrecked, and Wrecked returns the favor, searing Zook with Sacred Fire, 7 damage, dropping Rook dropping Zook to 33 out of 40 hit points. After that, uh, Zook will cast Fade Away, which makes him invisible until I attack or in the end of my next turn. So after taking damage, Zook becomes invisible. Round 7, the invisible Zook is up. Uh, Zook will shift back into his Lynx form, and he will charge wreck it. I almost said Wreckage, your names are too much alike. No coincidence, I'm sure. I pounce towards Wrecked, 19 versus Reflex, hit for 4 damage, and target grants common advantage to the next creature that attacks it before the end of your next turn. So Zook rematerializes before Wrecked as he pounces on him for 4 damage, taking off Wrecked's 3 temporary hit points and dropping him to 29 out of 38. Wrecked. He farts after getting hit. Um, then... He takes a step back, and he casts Beacon of Hope. Ye. Um, roll of 12 versus Will, and if it hits, the target is weakened until the end of its next turn. But either way, um, I gain 5 hit points, and my healing powers will restore plus 5 hit points until the end of the encounter. Zook manages to shake off the effects of Wrecked's Prayer. Damnation. Wrecked back up to 34 out of 38 versus Zook's 33 out of 40. Round 8. Last round before the battlefield begins to close in. Zook. Zook will go up to and use his darting bite ability. 25 versus reflex. Hit for 8 damage. Zook chomps into Wrecked, dropping him to 26 out of 38. I can't can I? I can't end my shift in the difficult terrain, right? Because that would count as two squares. Correct. You can shift one, two, like that, if you will. But oh, I guess you want to go that way. Yeah, you can't go there or anywhere there. Wrecked at twenty-six. Um, he takes a step away, and he will cast um sacred flames on Zook again. Ah. Roll a 10 against Reflex. Ah, oh, for 11 damage, too. Wrecked doing a good job keeping out of melee with Zook, but he just got a stroke of Zook's luck. That ends round 8. Round 9, the battlefield begins to collapse. 
and contracts one square along its perimeter. Zook takes a few steps back and will charge again using his pounce ability. Nine versus reflex. Zook misses. Wrecked. Wreck will take a step away. Actually, no. Take a step down. Uh, no. Step away. He'll try to cast another sacred flame. Roll of 14 versus reflex, dealing 9 points of radiant damage. And if it hits, Wreck will take the 4 uh, temporary hit points. Zook is singed down to 24 out of 40 hit points. Round 10. The battlefield continues to contract Zook. Zook is starting to feel the effects of all the farts that Wreck gave away, He's lowering his ability to hit. He takes a few steps back and charges him again. 17 versus reflex hit for 8 damage. Zook chomps into Wrecked, removing his temporary hit points and dropping him to 21 out of 38. And Wrecked will be under the effects of combat advantage on Zook's next attack. Wrecked. Um, Wrecked shifts away. He casts another Sacred Flame. 17 versus reflex, dealing 11 points of radiant damage. And he takes another three uh, temporary hit points. Wrecked deals a grievous wound to Zook, dropping him to 13 out of 40 hit points. Zook is bloodied. Yeah, but now it gets funny. I'll find out when you next hit him. Round 11, Zook. Zook will move down there and charge again against Wrecked. 25 versus reflex hit for 11 damage. Zook returns the favor. Wrecked down to 13, both combatants sitting on 13 hit points. I'll use my action point and use Savage Friends. Zook trying to end this now. 25 versus reflex, hit for 9 damage, and target is dazed and slowed. Save ends both. Zook lands the blow, leaving Wrecked with 4 hit points. Wrecked, dazed, can only take 1 action. Well, I guess I'm going to be forced to use my healing word. Can I does get that provoke? Yes, it does. Well, I've never actually maybe. checked. It's a minor action, but I don't know if it provokes or not. Is it a burst power? Is it ranged? Yeah. Then I believe... Yeah, let me, let me confirm that. I think blasts are not... don't provoke. Does second wind provoke? No, it's not a burst or a blast. Basically, any kind of ranged attack will provoke. Ah, in that case, can I use my second wind instead? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll use my second wind. I don't know how many of my, like, healing abilities will actually apply to this. I know that my healer's lore will definitely apply, because it's using a surge, so I get a plus two from that. My beacon of hope will definitely apply, so that's a plus five. Wrecked back up to 18 out of 38 hit points. Round 12, the battlefield continues to contract. Zook. Zook will use his Grasping Claws ability. 20 versus Reflex hit for 5 damage. And that's also a slow effect, right? Yeah. So Wrecked back down to 13. Both combatants once again at 13 hit points, but Wrecked with still a ton of healing up his sleeve. So I'm actually still dazed. That you are. But you no longer have combat advantage applied to you. Wrecked. Uh, okay, I'll guess I'll use my healing word and trigger an attack of opportunity, but I have a plus 4 to AC because I have the uh, battle caster feat. So Zook gets his attack. You, you get a plus 4 to what? AC or to all defenses? Plus 4 to a oh, just sec. Because Zook hasn't been targeting your AC. And in fact, it, no, it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter probably. <laughs> so what did Zook roll? Uh, Zook rolled 25 versus reflex. And hits 4? Uh, 7 damage. So Zook takes Wrecked down to 6 hit points. He could possibly take him out. But Wrecked is about to heal himself a ton. Yeah, so... Okay, this allows me to use every single like ability that I have. So I will heal my Surge, plus 2d6, plus my Wisdom, plus my 5, and something else, I think. Oh, and my Charisma. <laughs> That's gonna be so awesome in the campaign, though. It's just like, oh my god, this guy's like about to die, and like next thing you know, he's like full HP. 
So I will roll my 2d6 on the uh, sheet on the table first here. So the 2d6 will be a 7 total. 2d6 is from what? 1d6 is from my uh, the main healing word power. Healing word is uh, uh, the surge plus 1d6 plus my charisma bonus. Healer's lore is my adds my wisdom bonus. And then my pacifist healing gives me another 1d6. Gotcha. Oh, dang. It gives me 1d6 plus charisma modifier again. Yeah. So that's, what, 7 plus shit. 7 plus 2, that's 9. Plus 4, that's 14, 13. Plus 5, that's 19. Holy crap. I healed 28 hit points, and I am back to 34. That is amazing. I told you. <laughs> Healing on steroids, gentlemen. Healing on steroids. And I'll try to shake off the dazed crap here. Wait, where does the 28 come from again? So 9 is your base, then 7 because you, you rolled, 4 seven from your wisdom, it. 2 from your charisma, 5 from the thing. That Eight. comes out to 27. Where does the extra 1 come from? Wait, 7 plus 2, 9. Oh, you're right. Okay, I'll take 1 damage. Wrecked is at 33 of 38. And then I'll roll my uh, thing. With I one minor action, Rekt heals 27 hit points, nearly maxing himself out. And I remove all the stats things, I guess. So that just leaves the, uh, the slowed. So Rekt is no longer dazed, he's still slowed until the end of Zook's next turn. But at 33 out of 38 hit points, Zook sitting on 13 hit points, and Rekt still with two healing powers left. <sighs> Things are looking tough for Zook right now. I think the contracting wall will kill us. Round 13, the battlefield continues to contract, now just 10 feet away from Zook. Zook's up. Zook will attack with his grasping claws again. It's a 17 versus reflex hit for 4 damage. Wrecked brought down to 30 to 29 out of 38. But I bet Zook is feeling like he basically has to redo all the effort he just did to get him down, and he knows that Wrecked can just heal himself all over again. And I shift a square, and that's Wrecked. Um, Wrecked shift. Actually, no. Could I move, like, northwest? Wait, what does slow do? It'll that provoke. Can... Slow changes your speed to 2, I believe. Yeah, okay. Uh, in that case, I'll just move this turn. I c can I, like, move uh, northwest? And that's the only action I take? You want to move one square northwest? Yeah. So you're going to do a, a double move, two shifts, in order to get into that square? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, you can do that without provoking. And that's it. Wrecked. Being wary of the contracting battlefield moves more toward the center as the battlefield continues to collapse upon itself. Round 14, Zook. Zook will move where Wreckage was standing before and attack him with Grasping Claws again. 19 versus Reflex hit for 11 damage. Zooked. Zooked. <laughs> Zook claws wrecked down to 18 out of 38. And he's slowed again. Wrecked. Wrecked takes a step back. Uh, shift northwest. Yeah, and then he will. Yeah, why not? He'll cast um, him a resurgence. Blast 5, so yeah. And uh, yeah, well, I'll cast it first. If this is a knockback power, this could be funny. No, oh, yay! Ha, huh, pathetic. I roll a 12 versus Fortitude. If it managed somehow to hit, then uh, Zook takes minus 2 penalty to all defenses. Um, either way, the effect is that I get a uh, 5 temporary hit points. Oh, and if he is hit, then he... Yeah, nothing. 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 Wait, yeah, why, did, why did you just gain temporary hit points? Um, the effect of that... the Hymn of Resurgence... Each ally in burst. Are you an ally of yourself? Ah, oh, damn thingy, Majigger. Okay, just. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, that's it. All right. So wrecked. Uh, jeez, what's the fluff on that? 
Wrecked him bestows divine vigor on his non-existent allies, causing his foe's resolve to crumble. <laughs> Sending Zook crumbling to the ground, and uh, so despondent and depressed that he suffers a minus two to all defenses. I just want to point out to everyone that I crumbled to the ground because of his lack of allies in this current situation. I just, I just laughed so much, I just fell. Yep, that's what happened. The battlefield continues to shrink. It is now dangerously close to Zook. If Zook remains where he is, he will die next round. Zook is up, round 15. Alright, Zook spends one move action to get up. And the other one... Well, it is... I just want to make sure before I do some bit, do it just clear with you. When I charge, can I make is is the is the action part of the move action, or is that? Because uh, I remember with something, I remember with uh, with some abilities that like the action is part of like with quick draw, you know, like you unsheath your weapon as part of your dis as part of the attack thing. Is it the same thing with charge, or is it uh, the charge is a standard action plus a move action? No, I'm fairly certain that a charge includes a move action in the standard action. So for one standard action, you get a move plus an attack, is my understanding, right. if I recall correctly. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll shift out of Link's form, which gives me a shift since I'm switching out of Beast form. Beast mode! <laughs> you guys watch <laughs> Beasties when you were kids? Thing. Yeah, yeah. I think it was Beast Wars in the US. Yeah, it was Beast Wars. Why do they change the name? That does not make sense. I think Beast Wars kind of sounds cooler, but then there was that other series, Shadow Raiders. Uh, in the US it was War Planets. How lame is that? I'm so glad we got Shadow Raiders. War Planets, awesome. Yeah, War Planets sounds like a badly thought name. It's like Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, they should have called it War Stars. And I will cast a Flame Seed on Rex. Light him up. Oh, 9 versus Reflex. I don't think that's it's gonna hit. That is not. Wrecked. I'm actually really confused at what I should do at this point. Okay, I'll use... Oh, what the hell. I'll use um, my armor's minor power, but it allows me to regain health as equal to uh, my... Um, Healing search, surge. Basically. Yeah. The, the five will still apply, right? Or does it? Yeah. I th think so... I think it's as long as it's a, a heal, like he actually gets hit points, not temper hit points. Yeah, so I'll use that as my minor action. And I'm not slowed anymore, right? Uh, no you are not. So I'll heal by 9 plus 5, I guess. I heal up to 32 hit points. <laughs> Suk must be so demoralized. Uh, I, I am. <laughs> it's like, yeah, 11 damage! And I will cast... Astral Seal on him. Not only can he heal up to max, he can be attacking you as he's doing so. I think that's the best thing. So I roll 15 versus Reflex. If it does hit, um, until the end of your next turn, you will take minus 2 penalty to all defenses, and if there's an ally that hits you before then, they gain 2 plus my Charisma modifier in HP. CJ, it says that any ally who hits it before the end of your next turn, doesn't that mean that if I hit him as well, I mean, I don't understand no, an ally. No, 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 no. Any, an ally is someone who's not you, but is, like, in your party on the same side yeah. as you. If, if they mean to say you or an ally, they always explicitly write you or an ally. Okay. That's why you are a support class. And then I will move to there. Rekt heals up to max, nerfs Zook, and then advances possibly in order to trap Zook as the battlefield continues to collapse and Zook is once again right at the edge. However, this is the last round of contraction. Oh, it's not going to happen anymore? Round 16, that was the final round. This is the final boxed-in area. Or wait, was there one more round? No, no. Yeah, 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 it was, it's true, it's one more round. One more round to go to leave it like that, right? Uh, I really don't remember what we decided on. 
Yeah, I was starting on round nine for nine rounds, so that would for eight rounds, so that would include uh, round sixteen. So it's going to contract once more, and right now Zook is right in the corner. He cannot shift out of here without provoking, unless he can shift more than one square, which he probably can. Zook is up round sixteen. Or wait, no, this was round sixteen. I'm so confused. This was round sixteen, right? I have no idea what round is. I don't have the. Uh, check how many. Um Squares you uh, deduced already. Good idea. Yeah, One, two, good. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right. No more contraction. Okay, so the battlefield will not be contracting any further because there is now no further obstacles on the battlefield, no place for anyone to hide, and there's a big pit uh, if you want to shove people down. Round 17, Zook. This means we're now going into overtime. And I still have healing. To be fair, you spent like the first six or seven rounds just scoping each other out. Honestly, I'm I'm pretty sure this battle is gonna last until two o'clock ish. But anyway, I will shift into my links and uh, I'm gonna uh, shift one square and use my grasping claws. Thirteen versus reflex hit for five damage. Any slow, maybe possibly. Just enough to hit wrecked. Wrecked is down to 27 out of 38. Can you heal two more times or one more time? I forget. One more time. Wrecked. Zook has been on 13 hit points for like the past 10 rounds or so. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wrecked will take a step backward and he will cast a damaging spell because he's crazy. Oh, what the hell. He'll cast Divine Glow. Uh, he's probably also gonna like stun himself here. <laughs> um, he deals, he does 19 to reflex, 11 points of radiant damage. Wrecked. Brings Zook down to 2 hit points and stuns himself because of his pacifist healer feat. I'm so sad I hit you. I'm so sorry. That ends my turn immediately, right? Mm, possibly. Well, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I, it means I'm not entirely sure. Because, I mean, if it's not, I can just use my action point and use another, like, attack. But if it does, then I can't. Well, once again, let's look at the power. Uh, look at the condition. You can't take actions, and it is a free action, I believe, to use a, to spend an action point. Wait, st stunned? Or, wait, was it stunned or dazed? Stunned. Oh my god. That means you can't take actions at all. It's not that... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Eh? Wow, that's that's hilarious. That is oh, hilarious. I, I, I'll, I'll have to read this. It's the th it's called stun, like stun. The condition is stunned, and it is you grant combat advantage. You can't take actions. You can't flank an you can't flank an enemy. You fall off your flying unless you can hover. And this oh, is until what? The end of your next turn or the start of your next turn? If it's the end, O M F G. That is so like yeah. Until the end if, of my next turn. So you have like a free two turns. If you ever attack someone in the camp fate who's bloodied, I, I'm, I'm gonna hit you. Dude, of course I won't. Unless I'm absolutely insane. That's something Zaxard would do. Alright, with Wrecked stunned, we move on to round 18. Zook, two hit points, but he still has his one healing power, second wind, which leaves him and Wrecked on equal footing with regards to healing now. Except Wrecked's healing is a shitload better, so not equal footing at all. Well, I'm stunned, so I don't know. Zook will take one move action to move a bit north, and he's gonna charge. Uh, <laughs> Rex. So it, it's combat advantage, right? Yes, it is. It's a 19 versus reflex hit for 8 damage. Zook wounds Rex down to 19 out of 38 hit points. Rex can do nothing, simply taking the combat advantage as. Uh, Although he recovers from his stun at the end of his round, at the end of his turn, he still suffers the combat advantage from Zook's attack. So round 19, Zook. Although Zook probably wants to spend his, uh, wants to take his second wind right now. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, Zook takes his second wind, and that's it for this round. Zook back up to 12 out of 40 hit points, still dangerously low. Nearing that range where he can be taken out in one hit. Wrecked is up. Uh, yeah, so he's not stunned anymore. I guess that's a good news. Wrecked will take a 
step back, shift away. What the hell? It's not like I can do anything else. He casts sacred uh, flame on him and wrecked deal. Oh, he rolls 23 versus reflex, dealing 10 points of radiant damage. And if it hits, he gains three temporary hit points, but he's stunned once again, kids. Zook once again down to two hit points and wrecked stunned as we move to round 20. Zook knows he needs to take advantage of this. He needs to take down wrecked, but wrecked has virtually 22 hit points right now. Zook sitting on two hit points. If he is so much as sneezed on, Zook is dead. Zook backing up for the charge. And charges 22 versus reflex hit for 9 damage. That's enough to take wrecked down to 13 out of 38. Does Zook do anything else? I unfortunately cannot. Oh boy, wrecked's turn. Wrecked does nothing but recover from his stun. Which means we're going to be moving to Zook on round 21. Zook needs to take out Rekt now, but can he deal 13 damage in one shot? I don't believe he can, which means it'll come down to who hits who first. In fact, it won't because Rekt will simply heal himself. Uh-oh. And this could be game over for Zook. Round 21, Zook. Oh, well, Zook's going to back up and charge again. No! No! Nine versus Reflex! My... F my... Oh, my rolls came to haunt me. Sorry, dude. And actually, as Zook backs away, that provokes an opportunity attack from Rekt, right? Since Rekt has recovered from his stun. Mm, yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, it's Unless true. Zook has some ability that counters that? No, it doesn't. But honestly, he has he could heal himself to full HP anyway. I have, there's, there's, there's no point. <laughs> So Rex, do you take the opportunity attack? No, I won't, because if I do the attack, then I get stunned again, right? Smart. Alright. <laughs> I gotta be smart. Wrecked. Yeah, I'll heal myself. It's a minor action. You can take an attack of opportunity on me. Go ahead, Zook. Grasping claw. 15 versus reflex, 9 damage. That drops Rex to 4, but he's about to super heal. His last super heal, though. Can Zook hold on with those two hit points long enough to <laughs> whittle Rex down for the fifth time, is it? Uh, well, only something two. like that. So, Dave rolled the minimum possible on his 2d6 for healing, but he still has that crap load of other heals. Which is... Bonuses, that is. 2, 4, 5, which is... two. What's 2, 4, 5? <laughs> 9, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so plus 13. So, Wreckage heals up to... 26 out of 38. And is no longer bloodied. Yeah. And then I'll try to use my sacred flame on him. John has to cross his fingers and hope that Dave misses. I roll 19 versus reflex for 9 points of radiant damage. But he doesn't and Rekt takes down Zook on round 21. Clinching the first victory in this best of three series. That's right. We've got at least another round of this. Possibly two. Stick around for match two in this best of three series. And don't forget to leave a comment below to place your bets on the Wreckage vs. Autumn matchup, which will be posted next week.